Okay guys, today I'm going to show you how to make the Origami Great Stellated Dodecahedron. This is part one of two. Part one, I'll show you how to make one of these. These are the units used to make it, obviously. And you need 30, which is fucking insane. Okay. First, you're going to fold in half. I think the fucking call it a book fold or something, I don't know. Fold in half this way. <coughs> and then fold in half that way. Just like that. It's really easy. Then, sorry if I get too sloppy, I have to record it with one hand. I have to make this with one hand, that's why I pre-creased it. Okay, then you're gonna fold the bottom right square, not the top, not this one. Or this one. Top left. Bottom left. It has to be this one all the time. Well, you can choose any one if you want. You can make it that one, but it doesn't matter. Then you're just going to fold this. The point. To the intersection of horizontal and vertical creases. Like a half blend space. Then you're just going to... Oh, start with the color side down and wet that up double colored paper on both sides looks really cool if you make it okay some people get tricky on this part mixed up on this part <coughs> all you're gonna do is put this crease along this crease but you're not gonna do it like this this flap needs to swing out just like that or you could just unfold it off then just Lie the crease along it like a uh, looks like a paper airplane sort of, and just do the same on the other side. Not like that. You have to let that swing out, just like that. Really easy. Okay. Then you're gonna make a crease connecting this point. In this point, and I'll do that right now. I'll have to put the camera down and I'll show you. Just like that. You see that point to this point. I'm just gonna leave it there. And do the same thing on the side, this point, to that point. So. Boom, boom. Just like that. Real easy. Real simple. Okay. Then, unfold the O's, too. And you're just gonna... Fold these flaps. These little extra things. Yeah, you're just gonna fold them as close as you can to the crease. So, let me do that and I'll show you. You, yeah, just try to fold this point to that point as close as you can. Why is I Carly on? <laughs> okay, anyway, you just do that. Yeah, that's it, and then do the same thing on the other side. And then we need to do one more step, and then we're done. So, yeah, just like that. And don't make this harder than it is. Don't be like, okay, you didn't even show us how to do it, blah, blah, blah. Don't troll. Okay. Okay, so anyway, refold these over them. Here, let me zoom out for you. And then just flip it over. And it will look like this. And then you're going to take this, this flap, there I'll show you guys. And then just keep it like that. And we'll do the same thing on this side. Just 
just like that. Then the last thing. You're gonna fold this point to this point. And I'll do that to so show you guys. Sorry about that, but I can't show you. I have to use two hands to make it. <laughs> Just like that. And in part two, I'll show you how to put these all together. Here, you can, this is how you're supposed to do it. Just like that. And that's what they look like. And in part two, I'm going to show you how to put all 30 of them together, even though that's like 15. i got to make a whole bunch more. And uh, thanks for watching, and leave comments if you have any, need any help, and I'll be glad to help. Thanks. See ya.